This is the Wilmette Women's Club. It's at 10th and Greenleaf, just a block or two from downtown in Wilmette. It's set in a beautiful residential area. A tree-lined street. Surrounded by homes. It's a tranquil setting. Easy access from almost all of Wilmette. It's Joe is from Neo Wilmette, and I've just walked into the Wilmette Women's Club and been met by three lovely ladies who are going to introduce themselves to us. Okay, Joan Bowl, Facility Coordinator and Calendar. Ruth Smith, I take care of the house and the grounds. I'm Debbie Burdick, and I'm the Membership Chairman. Okay, and uh, it would be great if you guys could show me around a little bit. We'd be happy to. Why don't we go in here first? This is a wow. Isn't it? This is a great room for weddings and dances and bar mitzvahs and um, almost anything else. We've also done a lot of stage shows. That's a fully equipped stage with a sound system and lights. So almost anything can go on in this room. It's really an awesome room. I mean, it uh, is. It is so totally unexpected. From the outside. We can seat 200 for sit-down dinner. There's a Steinway on the stage. Yeah, we have a Steinway piano on stage, and we work very hard to keep our hardwood floors in good shape. And uh, they're the original hardwood, and the paneling obviously is original. And there's also seating uh, up in a choir loft. Yes, it's a balcony. We don't use that very much, but it is available. We can do it. And uh, it's, it's tiered seating up there. It's really a, a shockingly large and, and beautiful room. We think so. We're very, very proud of it. What, uh, when, when was the club built? Uh, the original, this part of the club, was built in 1929. And it opened in October 29, uh, three days before the stock market crashed. <laughs> and there they were with a wonderful building and a huge mortgage. But they managed it. The first part of the building was built in 1910, and that is the front part that's on Greenleaf Avenue. The kitchen and the auditorium here were added on in 1929. Did, uh, this was built for member performances? Oh, yes. Perhaps, yes, it was built for member performances, and you know, in the old days, in 1929, they held tea dances and such. Now, they, we're a long way past that, but indeed... Uh, why, why would that be a tea dance? Sounds like it might be fun. I think it would be, but, you know, I don't think people have teas and dance in the afternoon the way they used to do. Does anyone know how to waltz anymore? I don't know. Uh, I used to. It's just the auditorium. The doors to the dining room can be closed off. Each room is unto itself. It can be open or closed. This is the dining room, so if they only want the auditorium, they can close off the doors. If they only want the dining room, everything else can be closed off. And you could host a variety of events in this room, right? right. They have a lot of cocktail parties in here before dinner in the auditorium. They have luncheons in here, funeral memorials, small business meetings. For uh, weddings or for any other event, uh, one of the major questions people would have is what kind of lead time do you generally need? Uh, are weddings booked far in advance? You, sometimes there's availability, other times we're booking into 09. Okay. 08. Any 07 availability? Yes, left? there are a few left in the fall. Okay. What would, uh, what would the overall charges be for renting, the, say, the entire facility and then parts of it? Uh, $1,900 for the whole club, and that includes tables, chairs, china, and flatware. And it, that's for six hours. Okay. That's... And then the caterer um, does the linen and the glassware. And from what I know, that little I know, that sounds like a pretty competitive price. It's not competitive, it's reasonable. Reasonable. We're the okay. most reasonable club on the North Shore. We're also the only club on the main, have the main floor. The rest are up and down. We also have uh, our regular club meetings in here, as do the junior auxiliary. We have luncheons and programs in here. And uh, the juniors, who are younger women, um, 
meet in here and they have evening meetings because they are mothers of young children or they work full time. Um, Tell me. Uh, in this room, sometimes if it's a small wedding, they're married in here. Okay. My own daughter was married in here. Well, she was. Yep. And, and it's, um, it's, we have teas, you know, all kinds of things. And if you're at the whole club, no. this is included. And then if we go into the solarium over here. It's a dull gray day outside, so we're not going to uh, see much benefit from the solarium. The solarium, uh, Nutrier uses this for their extension classes. We are do community service, and they have a lot of small meetings in here in different classes. It's like a cozy room. We also use this as a bride's room when we have a wedding reception so that the bride has a place to come and be private, freshen up, so on, whatever she needs to do. But we have many, many small groups within the two clubs. Uh, that use this room as a meeting room for group discussions and so forth. We're in our kitchen, and it's the pass-through is our dish room. We're all stainless steel. Caterers tend to love this. And let me just show oh, you sure. a few of the little tricks of the trade. Under the counter, we have sliding bins that house our china. So everything is very efficient in that everything is stored under the counters. We have working stoves. We have five ovens. We have a full stainless steel refrigerator. We have freezers, both a chest freezer and an upright freezer. Um, a huge work surface. Yeah. Huge work surface. This is why the caterers love coming here. It's an easy kitchen to work in, so they tell us. And coffee makers. And oh, yes. yes. We have just about anything you need. What's the next event that's coming up here? I'll ask the uh, uh, Friday night there's a bar mitzvah. Saturday there's a wedding. Those are the next two coming up. Okay. And what? Tell me again. I think I missed the the size of a crowd that you can accommodate for a wedding. We can we can seat 200 seated in the auditorium at 60 inch round tables. Okay. That's with a small dance floor. With a small the dance floor. The fewer people, the larger the dance floor. We have a, as you came in, we have a large hallway going to a cloakroom, the restroom, and some beautiful stained glass windows in the exit. Let's, let's go take a look there. And those were donated from one of our members who died, and she left us a legacy. We are air conditioned. Thank God. <laughs> I'm trying to. The windows are beautiful, but. I have, okay. to say the, I have to say the Camelworth Club has you beat on the windows. Oh, well, well you know <laughs> what? But their space is a lot smaller. Their space is a lot smaller. Their, their rental fee is higher. Much. We know. <laughs> we, have a, we have a beautiful uh, woman's restroom that's been redone. Okay, once again, thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, you for, for coming. Thank you for asking.